because I love all my subscribers and followers and customers and just pretty much anybody that respects this technology, you know, as you can see now, it's 9.52. I did a, a YouTube post and a blog post if you go on my webpage, which will be uploaded shortly. Um, Mobdro came out with an update today, and so did Cody. And the problem that we're having is, is that if you downloaded or if you updated, excuse me, the Mobdro program, you are in a world of hurt. Uh, for example, it looks like it works just fine, but when you click something to watch it, nothing happens. Uh, in a best case scenario, you're going to get audio and no video, as I mentioned in my last video. No pun intended. Actually, it just kind of locked everything up. So anyway, like I said, it, 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 there's the audio. There was the audio. And, and as I was saying, you know, the thing is, that, you know, I want to make sure that I offer everybody, not just my customers, the ultimate watching experience. So I'm going to walk you through the steps to fixing this right now. And again, when 2.0.56 either, you know, patches an update or they come out with a new update that works on the Android streaming set top box, I will release another video and give you the okay. But until then, you're going to have to put in the older version and leave the older version in there because it works. So let's do this step by step. Whether you're a US Android TV customer or not, uh, if you have a set top uh, streaming Android box, your home screen looks similar to this. Um, some are a little more elaborate, some less, but you're going to have a settings. So you want to scroll over to settings and then you're going to click OK. Now this should look the same pretty much on all Android streaming set top boxes. You're going to want to scroll over to apps and then click OK. Then you're going to want to scroll over to Mobdro and click OK. I'm talking a little fast for time purposes. Feel free to pause and rewind this anytime that you need. Uh, but you're going to want to uninstall this app. As you can see right here, it's a 2.0.56. That, at least tonight, you know, and it was released tonight, is a no bueno. It's no good. So let's uninstall that. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Okay, let's uninstall it. And it'll ask me again, do you want to inst uninstall it? Yes, I do. It's gone. Okay, so here's the fix to that. It's really, really simple, guys. First thing I want you to do is get old mob or new Mobdro off of your Android streaming set-top box. The next thing I want you to do is open up your internet browser. Some people have a shortcut for it. Uh, if you have an Air Mouse, and we do sell those at usandroidtv.com, uh, there's a blue internet button on the lower right of your remote you can press, or you can go into apps and open up browser. Either way, you need to open up your browser. Now, for time purposes, I've already typed this in, but if, you know, again, I'm going to push, I'm going to do a little bit of a sales pitch here. If you don't have an Air Mouse remote, get an Air Mouse remote. Again, I have Air Mouse remotes on our website at www.usandroidtv.com. We ship them locally, so you don't have to wait 10, 15 days. You'll get them in three to four days, and we're very competitively priced, and it's the only remote that I personally use. But back to what, back to what we need to talk about here. So here's what you need to type in exactly, and this will rectify the situation. H-T-T-P-S colon forward slash forward slash mobdro, M-O-B-D-R-O dot E-N dot aptoid, A-P-T-O-I-D-E dot com. That's, what, that's the exact address you need to type in. So if you need to pause that while you do it, please pause it. And also, do it from your set-top box. Do it from your box that's not working, the one that just updated your mob row. Once you do that, it's going to pull up this page right here that we're already on. And you don't want to click download because, as you can see below, it's a 2.0.56. We don't want that. We want other versions. So what we're going to do is click other versions. And there's that 2.0.56 again. We do not want that. We want the version right before that, the 2.0.52 freemium. So we go ahead and just click that right there. And it pulls up another window asking if you want to download it. It is the version 2.0.52. You might want to verify that. And you go ahead and you click download. 
Now, if you are a usandroidtv.com customer, you already have unknown source, allow unknown sources to be downloaded, so you don't have to do anything further. If you're not a usandroidtv.com customer, chances are you also have that enabled, but if you don't, it's in settings, and you have to uh, allow unknown uh, sources uh, to be downloaded in order to download this application. So as you can see right now in the upper left-hand corner, it is downloading and we are at 77 percent um, and again the ultimate goal is is that we want mobdro to be working again but for the usandroidtv.com customer uh, it actually affected my Kodi 17.6 that was just updated to do today as well to where i had audio and no video so again uh, at this point you're done um, if you want i'm going to try this for the first time i'm going to click it right from here now, you think you're downloading Mobdro, you're not there just yet. You gotta go through a little bit of BS first. You gotta install this Aptoid. So go ahead and do it. I've already done it, it's safe. Uh, it's not gonna wreck anything on your system. There is one preemptive to that, and I'll get to that when we get to that point in the video. But uh, for right now, I'm gonna go ahead and pause to save time because this takes about 45 seconds to download, uh, and that's with a fast internet connection, so I'm gonna pause. I want to give a special shout out to my girlfriend because she's actually the one that found this older version of the software. So I want to uh, go ahead and continue. So after the Aptoid has downloaded, you're going to see this to where it says, you know, it, the app has been installed and then it's done and you can open it. You know, just for lack of argument's sake, I always click done just so I know it's done. Because at this point, you can go ahead and close your browser. And what you're going to want to do from this point, and this is standard across any of these set-top boxes, you're going to want to go to Apps. And I believe if we go to Aptoid, I'm going to check something real quick. I might be wrong on this. It might... No, there it is right there. If you click on Aptoid, um, it'll actually ask you, do you want to install Mobdro? Well, yeah, of course we want to install Mobdro. And that's the older 2.0.52 Premium. Uh, it seems you have a root. Would you like to auto install app after the download? Well, yeah, of course. Most of you guys will see that. Um, it's going to ask you if it, you, you allow access to phone storage. You can click yes on that. That doesn't matter. Uh, photos, media, files on your device. If you have a set top, set top box, chances are you don't have anything on here. Go ahead and allow it. But I'm going to show you the safeguard against that anyway. As you can see, we're downloading. And um, this is a little bit, you know, it's not really a huge file. It's 29 megabytes. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause again just for time's sake and get back with you as soon as this thing gets done downloading. Yeah. This is the preemptive I was telling you about. Um, I, I don't allow anybody but myself as a developer to have super user access. So you can deny this. Please deny this. So go ahead and deny it. And now everything um, is just like it was, uh, like it should be. So Mobdro wants to have all these permissions. They, it has it anyway. Go ahead and click install. And again, this is going to take anywhere from 45 seconds to a minute and a half, depending on your internet connection speed. I'm going to go ahead and pause it again for time's sake, and I'll get back with you as soon as it's done installing. Okay, again, uh, yeah, I want to apologize. It's going to be a little bit of a long video. It's a little in-depth, so feel free to pause, rewind, whatever you need to do on the video so that you get this done properly. Once the app is installed, it says it's installed, you have the options for done or open. Again, I always click done. And then you can go ahead and hit the home button on your remote and take you out of that. Now, here is what I would recommend that you do. As you can see, Mobdro is now down here again, and we're going to get to that in just a minute. But, you know, I don't need anything else from Aptoid right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that settings screen. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to scroll over to Apps. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go over to Aptoid. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to uninstall this app. They don't need to be on my device unless I need them again. Sorry, Aptoid, if you catch this, but I don't know you that well, and I only have apps on here where I, I know really well. So, uh, anyway, let's go down to Mobdra real, real quick and see if it, in fact, works. Um, it's going to pull up the welcome screen where you have to agree or disagree with their terms and conditions. Uh, so you want to go ahead and agree with that. And let's go to Shows. 
Uh, we did It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia before. We got audio, no video. And with the 2.0.52, as you can see right now, we successfully have audio and video. And you can see it's running. So I don't violate copyright infringements. I'm going to back out of that. You can see it works. Everything works fine now. And my Kodi program works just fine as well. So we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and conclude the video. I hope this has helped many, many, many of you out. Again, it, when they fix it and it works right with their newer version, I'm going to post a video to tell you to go ahead and do the update. But any time until then, if it prompts you to do an update, do not do it because it will definitely crash your Mobdro and potentially crash your Kodi. So if you're a U.S. Android TV customer, thank you for watching this video. If you're not a U.S. Android TV customer, why don't you become one? Go visit our website at www.usandroidtv.com. And you know what? Even if you don't buy from me, there's helpful stuff there. I've got an FAQ page, a vlog page. Uh, we're also on Instagram, we're on Twitter, we're on Facebook, we're everywhere. Where We have a lot of resources on this technology. So for now, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sum this video up. Thank you again so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about this video, leave a comment below and I'll be quick to answer it. So until next time, guys, thank you.